I'm gonna show you how to live stream from a computer step by step, and I'm gonna share with you some tips to ensure that your first live stream doesn't run into any hangups. To live stream to YouTube, you are going to need the following things. A verified YouTube account. All you have to do here is verify your account. Super easy. A camera of some kind. You can use your phone, webcam, or even a high-end camera if you like. An audio source of some kind to ensure the best quality, we recommend using an external microphone, but if you have a webcam, you can use the onboard microphone or your computer's microphone if you would like. A computer. Keep in mind, if you are going to be streaming directly from your mobile device, you are going to need 50 subscribers to do it. And of course, you're going to need software to get your webcam signal up onto YouTube, or you can stream directly to YouTube, which I don't recommend, and I'll explain why in just a moment. Once you have all those things in place, the very next step, of course, is to connect your camera to your computer. If you have a webcam, simply plug it into an available USB or USB-C port. If you're using a DSLR camera, like a Canon or a Sony camera, it's a little bit more complicated. Canon has EOS utility software you can use to get the signal in, but if you're using a Sony camera or another brand, you might be able to plug the camera directly in, but if not, you're going to need a cam link or another device, and I'll link to all of this down in the description, to get the HDMI signal from your camera into your computer. If you're on a laptop where you have a built-in camera, then in that case, of course, you can skip that step. Once you have all that in place, the next thing you gotta think about is your audio, but don't worry, you don't necessarily need one of these. If you choose to use the microphone on your webcam or your laptop, keep in mind the audio quality is gonna be much lower than if you have an external microphone of some kind. However, if you're just getting started and you don't wanna spend money on the extra equipment, then in that case, use what you have because it's more important to get started so you can start practicing and start to understand the process better. You can always upgrade later. But if you have a USB microphone or audio interface, make sure it's connected to your computer and your mic is plugged in. Now, once you have all of your equipment set up, you could go right onto YouTube and go to the top of the screen and click the create icon and then hit go live. Schedule your stream there, put in your title and description, but let me give you a quick tip first. If you take that approach, it's important to know there's a risk involved. If you're streaming and you have a problem with your computer, you have a problem with your internet, you have a problem with the power in your place, whatever, and it causes your stream to go down. If you go live directly through YouTube, you're gonna lose all of the viewers that you've gained during that time live. In order to go back live again, you're gonna have to set up and schedule an entirely new stream. That's not efficient, and you're going to lose viewers if you do that. So here's what I recommend instead. If you use StreamYard, which has free plans and paid plans, it's going to give you the option to be able to host your live stream in the cloud. This ensures that if your stream goes down for any reason, you can log right back in as soon as your internet gets reconnected or as soon as you restart your computer and your audience is still going to be there, your stream is going to be open and you can come right back in. For me, when that's happened in the past, what I would do is I would hop on my phone and I would join the stream on my phone while I'm going through the process of getting everything fired back up again. And that's because it's better to be interacting with people and let them see the problem that you're dealing with and them know that you're gonna be coming back into the stream instead of risking losing people that were hanging out to see whatever it is that you're sharing in your stream. For that, once you create your StreamYard account, all you have to do is log into your StreamYard account and then go to the Destinations tab inside of StreamYard. Keep in mind, you're only gonna have to connect your YouTube account one time, and then from there, StreamYard is going to remember that connection. So all you have to do is click Add Destination and then connect your YouTube account. Once that's connected, click on Broadcasts and then click Create. From there, click Live Stream and then choose the destinations you would like to stream to. Keep in mind, this option allows you to stream to multiple platforms at once if you choose to. Once you choose your destination, add a title and description to your stream. Then you'll wanna check the box that says Schedule Stream. When you do this, it's going to open another area where you can add your thumbnail and choose your stream day and time. Once that's set up, click Create Broadcast. And don't worry, when you click that, you're not going live right there in that moment. Instead, you're scheduling it for later. But keep in mind that that is going to show up as a scheduled stream on your YouTube channel. And as a quick side tip, it's always better to schedule your stream instead of just going live in the moment. And the reason for that is because when you schedule your stream, it lets people know that you're going to be streaming and then people can make time to be there. So the next step, of course, is on the day and time of your stream, you want to make sure that you log back into StreamYard. When you do, you're going to see your scheduled stream right there in your dashboard. From there, click on your stream, enter your name, and then click on Enter Studio. When you do that, you're going to get the screen that checks your webcam and microphone to ensure your stream looks how you want and that you have an audio signal coming in. If you don't see your camera or if it's not picking up your audio, go into Settings and choose your camera from the drop down. Then click on Audio and choose your microphone. Since you're new to streaming, I recommend keeping the default items checked for echo cancellation and mic volume. But you can speak into your microphone and check the levels using the dots next to the microphone setting just to ensure that it's as loud as you want it to be. Once your equipment is selected, click the X in the top corner of the box to close it. Then add your
your display name. This can show up on screen if you like, or you can hide this, but either way, just enter your name here and then click Enter Studio. Down on the bottom left of your screen, you're gonna see your camera, hover over it and click Add to Stream. When you're ready to start your stream, click on the Go Live button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Once you do that, you'll be live and people will be able to publicly see you live on the internet. And when you're finished with your stream, simply click End Stream in the top right-hand corner. Another thing I wanna bring to your attention is if you're just getting started with live streaming to YouTube, we have an entire playlist here on the StreamYard channel that teaches you all kinds of stuff about live streaming. You'll learn a ton. I'll put that playlist right here and you can go ahead and click into that now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.